All right, what's up, guys? Another uh, Fudge One production. I just made that up. No, today we're doing um, historic buildings and shit. So um, I've always been like a history buff, you know, and uh, kind of a freak with that. Not really a freak because I, I don't do it as much as I should words, but uh, no, I guess uh, this is this is like this video is going to be like my first, not my first time ever doing a live feed, but it's my first try to do a remake. It's very, 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 very similar to Pug One Productions. So, and, um, Pug One, if you don't know who that is, he's a Canadian YouTuber star, um, that makes, he, he's all in it for the entertainment. He, he, um, it is quite entertaining, his daily life as, you know, a redneck Canadian. It's actually pretty intriguing, uh, if you ask me, because, uh, I think it is, you know, he, he just does a lot of stuff, but, uh, me, on the other hand, um, he talks funny, I, and cusses and swears a lot, because it's his God-given right to have that, um, that freedom of speech, and, uh, upholds his First Amendment right, you know, and he definitely upholds it by taking pictures and stuff of, of like filming photography in stores and public places and public places as meaning as uh right now to be honest <clears throat> I'm heading over to this to the police station to film it and uh <laughs> I'm kind of stuck by uh you know, one of those stop, stop hand signs, you know, like fucking the yellow words, if you can sound it. Yeah. So I'm kind of stopped by one of those, and uh, I don't want to get, I don't want to get in trouble by the police for freaking jaywalking or whatever it's called. So, oh shit, I can't even go yet. Now I can. Cause I saw a cop get into his car, and I haven't saw him. Yet, so. I saw him walk towards the scars and whatnot. So, uh, anyways, guys, um, what I'm gonna do though is uh, start by filming. I'm gonna start by filming. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be over here. No, it's public property, I guess. So yeah, I'm allowed to be here. But what I'm gonna start doing is start from this end over here and work my way around once more get all the shots that I need and hopefully uh, head on out of here I hear the squad car running I don't know which one it is but I think it's this one yeah so let's start over here so this is the old jail too um, that's why I put this on YouTube because not only is a old jail, I think it's cool because I always been fascinated. I always wanted to go to um, what is it called? Uh, Alcatraz, Alcatraz, or whatever. It's that big um prison that's no longer in service. They're up there, there's like a bunch of bars. You can't see it because the windows are tinted, but there's a whole bunch of old bars. You know, like old jail cell bars that you see in the movies and whatnot that people try to break out of. That's the main reason why I, I wanted to do this. Because I was actually talking to my mom. Gosh, what was it? Two or three weeks ago, I was talking to my mom about this very specific building. And when she was younger, she was actually housed in here. Don't worry, guys. It wasn't. It was... She was drunk and she got public intoxication. She was housed here. Had to go court. Blah 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 blah. 
right? So she said on the top of the building, there's, she, I don't know if she said there's like any bars, but on the top of the building, um, people used to go out there and what they would do, um, the guards actually would take you out there and you could smoke cigarettes on top of the building. And if that don't date anything, guys, like this building, I haven't, I've been here like hundreds of times and I have not seen like an actual date stamp on the building of how old the building is. So, I, yeah, I don't see any over here. Um, but yeah, the, anyways, this is where you would walk in. And you walk in and it's basically, when you walk in, it, it you, there's actually offices right here, all along right here, of a, uh, what is it called? It's like mediation. Uh, it's called mediation. Actually, matter of fact, I have to go through it. To be honest um, with my kid it's like for it's a, nothing bad but it's like uh, basically if uh, you and the mother aren't getting along and can't come to an agreement the court will or order you to mediation and uh, me and my kids mother wouldn't get along uh, she has this girlfriend uh, but that's a different YouTube story so anyways but anyways guys uh, so um, yeah and you get once you walk in too, like, I think there's only one courtroom. I don't know. But there's another doorway that looks like it would lead to a courtroom. But you walk in, and there's another courtroom. Uh, there's a courtroom over here. And um, what it is, is uh, the first initial appearance of when you're in cars like uh going to court like you know your first initial appearance for like traffic tickets uh your very first like plea and sentencing no plea no I, I forget what it's called but um when you first walk in though uh like it's it's like basically when you first get in trouble with and try to like go to court and whatnot I guess, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but you guys probably know better than I do. Um, i only been to court twice in my life, so, and all the rest were, like, traffic bull crap. But, uh, um, obviously the parking lot's been redone. I mean, sometime. It's not the perfect, as you can see, like, there's that strip of tar and whatnot, but, and the sidewalks have been redone. You know, they're kind of dating with the rust. But that happens, you know, over time with shoveling and uh, salt and ice, you know, it, it, it happens. It's a couple years old. But, uh, and then there's another room, um, like, right in the middle, like, you literally completely go like that, you know, once you're in the middle. I don't, I don't know if I can go inside. I wish I could give you some shots of it. That would be pretty cool, but, uh. The actual police headquarters, like this dispatch, the lady that picks up the phone and answers you when you call is right in this building too. And there's a whole bunch of offices like with detectives and whatnot all around here. And I think the police doors, to be honest, uh, see if we can get a shot of it without having to walk too far. Cause I, I'm kind of poop, man. I've been walking all over the place taking YouTube videos of everything else but uh, that right there that doorway right there that is where um oh, hold on guys I'm having trouble right now okay perfect that is where um the cops come in and out and go to all their squad cars which are parked in an ordinary fashion over here and uh, so that is one of the things that I think is pretty, pretty interesting about um, this building is that fact that, man, I really wish I could get the date of when this was built. I know there's a couple, um, couple buildings here in town that 
have actually a date. Actually, there's this house. Do you vape, bro? Um, <laughs> um, there's this house, actually. Um, it's not really a house. It's a, it's a museum now, but it was a house. It was a mansion. Um, it's a museum now. But uh, they used to, um, well, they still allow people in there, but I think it was built in 18... 18 something and this is the driveway and let me get off the road so I'm not cues of blocking anything but there's a driveway this driveway it comes from the road over here you go down boom down there and uh, I think that's where they work on um, on the squad cars um, now but back in the past um, they, uh, it says inmate, um, transport, uh, whatever, on the side. I don't know if they still bring inmates down there, to be honest. All honesty with you, but, uh, earlier, I wish I would've fucking been doing a YouTube video, but I was doing something else for my other, other bullcrap. Um, and I got a shot of down here, and, uh, I'll give you that same shot, but, it's not going to be the exact same because I actually got to get a glimpse. It was door six over there. Door six. It's right there. Right where my finger's on. Um, it actually had a, a police tactical vehicle in it. I thought that was pretty intriguing because I actually didn't know that these were used down here, to be honest. Um, as you can see right there, uh, there's a, a little thing that you press a button and you basically, uh, press a button and, uh, talk to whatever. But it also says, here, let me go get the other shot. I'll be in the sun, but I'll sacrifice it for the YouTube. I don't know how I'm going to be in the sun. says prisoner receiving Sally Poor. See, I really wonder if like they do maintenance. I don't know if is this where they do maintenance on the police vehicles. I know they get tires put on um, down Jackson Street at uh, the shop, and then Main Street is that way. And, um, you go down Main Street like that, there's another place where they, I, I think they get work on. I, I always see sheriff cars. I never see police cars, specifically. But, uh, the cool thing about this place, too, is directly on the bus, bus route. Um, I don't know how long it's been on the bus route, but I know it's been on the bus route since I'm a kid. And I, I am 23 years old now. And... You know, that's all the bus schedule times. It's called Go Transit, Oscar, Wisconsin. That's Maine and Jackson. Um, but I know they've been doing it all throughout my childhood, and throughout my childhood consists of um, since 1994. So since 1994. As far as I can remember, there's been a bus going down this street, which is a uh, Church Ave, Church Ave, and that one over there uh, is Sawyer. I think it's yeah Sawyer, but uh yeah. Yet again, guys, I'm, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to get a couple no, more shots. You know, like, uh, show you guys what it would look like to be coming off the stairs. You know, like, if you're coming down the stairs, a shot onto the, um, what it would look like. Uh, you know, um, I, I don't know, I, I just want to give you all the 
insight and looks that I would be getting if you guys lived in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So, so if you're walking up the stairs, down the stairs, it looks like this. I honestly think that's beautiful. You know, that building is A-OK -okay in my book. Uh, just the look of it, it looks intelligent, intriguing. Um, I'm gonna sit down since it is a public place and I want to finish talking about certain things. So I'm gonna go like this so y'all can see me. But uh, I'm gonna take a little chooch off my yeast egg, you know, create my nicotine habit. It's <laughs> a matter for myself. Fucking right, guys. So fucking, we're back here. It, behind, this is actually considered the rear of the Oshkosh Police Department. The rear parking lot, so to say. Not bad, chooch. Not bad, chooch. Yeah, I got this fucking mini coal, coal pour, coal pour mini, I think it's called, I don't know. I'm just vaping at 50 watts. I'm getting pretty low on juice, guys. Yeah, looks more than this. But, uh, the guy cruising through the fucking uh, neighborhoods, worst skis, here, see? Moped, moped life. I actually had, I know this is kind of off topic about the building, but uh, I actually had a, three or four mopeds in my life. And uh, Yeah, like three or four mopeds. So I was kind of distracted by why is he honking his horn? Is he excited that he's riding a moped? Hmm. Hmm. To be honest, guys, I might walk over the fucking, uh, um, <laughs> might walk over to, uh, Good old Hardee's. Give me a soda. I'm pretty thirsty. I'm sweaty. Cool down. I need to cool down. It's fucking hot. I don't ass fucking wore this thick ass shirt. I want it to look presentable because I've seen YouTube videos of photographers um, getting basically photographers getting you know harassed by the police. Or even taking pictures of any kind of public facility. And all honesty, guys, that's not right. I don't think that someone should have the authority to say, hey, uh, I know you're a taxpayer and you pay taxes and whatnot. I have a very bad problem with people saying you can't be on public property filming public property when it is public property and what is public guys I'm not the brightest grand in the box I only got a high school diploma but I know what public is that is the community of people within this town me as a human being is a public human being the public is a community that we are raising. And I'm gonna cross this way. I don't have a button, but I also don't there's cops just sitting in this fucking uh, vehicle over there fucking I don't know if you can sound it, but seeing one of these vehicles way back there. But uh he's just sitting there. Hard tax work dollars that you know as best, right? 
freaking we pay those guys to work for us we pay with our tax money for these streets for these sidewalks for these buildings and we have a right guys as citizens of the US of A to exercise our right to you know film things that we want to film on public property to be where we want to be on public property that is part of our first amendment right and um I'm very, I guess, if you want to say, I, I never really understood this until now, but I'm very liberal, liberal. And for me, being liberal means I'm not afraid anymore to speak out and speak my piece on these public servants. And um, actually, if you ever look on, he's on the back of the car. Um, the squad cars but it says to protect and serve the police officers are here they are public servants they are our you know our uh, what you want to call it uh, they're our employees they are here to make sure we are safe, protected, and serve us. So, if I wanted one of them to freaking wipe my shoe off because I stepped in their spit, uh, I know that's a little over the top, but that's what you gotta do. So, I'm gonna let you guys go. Don't forget to watch this, would you?